Scientists in China are planning to open a mass cloning factory by the end of the year. The ambitious and futuristic facility hopes to be mass-producing 1 million cows every 12 months by 2020. Not only will it clone cattle, but the factory, which will be located in the northern Chinese port of Tianjin, will also cater to more specific needs by genetically engineering police dogs and thoroughbred race horses. It is part of a $21 million plan which is backed by the Boya Life Group in collaboration with South Korean company Symbiotech Research Foundation. Zhu Ziyokan, CEO of Boya Life, said, Everything in the supermarket looks good, it's almost all shiny, good-looking, and uniformly shaped. For animals, we weren't able to do that in the past. But with our cloning factory, we choose to do so now. The technology is already there. If this is allowed, I don't think there are other companies better than Boya Life that make better technology. While ethical questions are bound to rise, the U.S.'s Food and Drug Administration FDA, has said that meat and milk from cow, pig, and goat clones and the offspring of any animal clones are as safe as food we eat every day. There are currently no plans in the pipeline to clone and produce humans in a bid to eradicate disease, but Ziaokan has said that this can change if people become more open to the idea of it. He said, Unfortunately, currently, the only way to have a child is to have it be half its mom, half its dad. Maybe in the future you have three choices instead of one. You either have 50-50, or you have a choice of having the genetics 100% from daddy or 100% from mommy. This is only a choice. We want the public to see that cloning is really not that crazy, that scientists aren't weird, dressed in lab coats, hiding behind a sealed door doing weird experiments. Inside the factory will be a 15,000 square meter laboratory, an animal center and a gene bank. It was originally created with the view to cope with China's increasing demand for meat, which will rise by another 2.2 million tons over the next decade, having shot up by 25% in the last five years. However, the ambition has grown, and the team hope to be cloning people's beloved deceased pets eventually too.